lockdown was super depressing. Uh, and this is right around the time where Italy was peaking with their cases. And you didn't have sports, so you watched coronavirus updates like it was the Olympics, you know? Like, yeah, I knew we'd do better than that country. <sighs> Terrible. And so the world wanted to help. Italy was struggling, you know? So people sent masks, people sent per personal protective equipment, and then Pornhub wanted to do their part. So Pornhub decided to make Pornhub premium free for Italians. And I wanted to do my part. So I immediately downloaded a VPN to change my location to Italy so I could suffer with them. Sometimes three times a day I was suffering. It was hard. It was difficult. And I realized something. When you're in isolation, you kind of learn things about yourself. And I learned that I have an addictive personality. And I realized I needed to switch this addiction with something else if I'm going to survive lockdown. So I thought maybe I could learn German, you know? I live in Berlin, and I don't want to be that expat anymore that everyone has to switch to English for. Like, you have that one guy out of the group, you know? Like, you're with your German friends, you're having fun, you're speaking German, yeah, 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 can, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're having a good time. And then Michael from California comes over, hi, can I join you? Oh, so, sure, Michael, come here, yes, okay. And then you go back to talking, yeah, 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 yeah. Michael's just sitting there. I no longer wanted to be Michael. So I thought, maybe I can learn German. And I hired a teacher, met the teacher online. She's actually from Austria. And uh, I started learning German. And she, but told her basically about my entire life every day. She became not my German teacher, but my therapist. And uh, it, you know, it was sad, because I was just explaining everything to her. I was just like, you know, Master Bier, Jeder Tag. And she's like, no, 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 Master Bier, Jeden Tag. And I was like, oh, danke schön. And, <laughs> And it was, you know, it was pretty bad. Like, when you develop a porn addiction, you don't realize you have it until it's too late. And for women, they, they don't understand porn. A lot of them like, I don't get it. It's disgusting. It's so gross. But you've dealt with a porn addiction. Like, if you ever had sex with a guy and he put you in 17 different positions, do you know what I mean? You're just like, ow, 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 ow. And he's just like, rrr, rrr, rrr. He's watched too much porn. He's just moving you moving around like you're a fold-up couch. He's watched too much porn. And then there's the other side of it, where a guy has watched too much, and he can no longer get turned on by a normal human woman. Like, you show up looking really good, nothing. But if you showed up dressed like a penguin, all of a sudden, <laughs> you're super turned on. So it affects you without even you realizing it. You're dealing with porn addictions. And I had one. I became a porn addict. It was sad. Because your brain thinks, as a man, when you're shooting your man gravy out into the world, your DNA, your brain thinks whatever you're doing, you're procreating. Now, so that's good. You're like, yeah, keep doing that. It's like, but I'm at home, and I'm depressed, and I'm lonely. It's like, yeah, keep going. <laughs> so you just become addicted to this two-dimensional fake screen. And it was crazy, because I was excited that we couldn't go outside anymore. I was like, good, I don't want to socially distance. I have something else. And I became like Gollum from Lord of the Rings, just like, <laughs> my precious. <laughs> it, was, it was tragic, tragic. And I thought, all right, I've got I've to get out of this somehow. So I'm thinking like, you know, a lot of people during lockdown, they were doing home improvement. I'm going to do some self-improvement, you know, downloading some self-help books. And it got so bad that while I was, you know, loving myself, in one screen, and then in the other, I would have like a self-help book playing. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, oh, that's a good point. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. Oh, oh. And then I was listening to a book about how to stop masturbating while masturbating. That's how bad it was. And then this book tells you, in order to stop masturbating, what you got to do is you got to get rid of all your triggers, all the things that make you want to masturbate, you got to get rid of them. And for me, whenever I'm finished, you know, I just use a towel to clean myself up. And I would start to eventually, I, it became so bad, I, I got turned on by towels. A towel would turn me on. I'd see a towel, I'm like. <laughs> and so I threw out all my towels, no more towels, burned all my towels. Stop showering, it's bad. But then slowly I stopped watching porn a little bit less, started learning a little bit more German, and then my German teacher saw the progress. And she's like, look, if you want to you know, continue with your German, you should find a language exchange partner. I was like, oh, coronavirus, lockdown. She's like, well, you can meet one online. I was like, of course. And there's an app called Tandem, where you can meet someone to, yeah, Tandem, yeah, yeah. You, you can meet someone to you know, have a conversation. Well, I was excited. I'm like, yes, I'm going to learn some Deutsch. It's going to be good. 
then I downloaded this app, and there was a bunch of cute girls on there. And I was like, oh my God. So of course I messaged all the girls, but none of them wrote back because they're bombarded with messages from dudes who are, not even, who are trying to teach them English who live in India. <laughs> and they're like, doesn't matter, teach you anyway. And so they're getting bombarded <laughs> with all these messages and they never write back. And finally, one girl writes back. Her name was Laura, and she's from a small village outside of Stuttgart. Every German I meet is from a small village outside of Stuttgart. Small village outside of Stuttgart. And we started learning German. I started teaching her phrases, you know? She would teach me things like, Auf Wiedersehen. I was like, oh, oh. I would teach her things like, peace, my nigga. She's like, good, good. <laughs> we're going back and forth. I'm learning German. We were talking every day, just short, just 10 minutes, half in English, half in German, developing this connection, good for Bindung. And then, and then it kind of kept, kept escalating, you know? It was like, she was, she was single, I'm single. We got on the subject of like ex-boyfriends and all that. And then eventually, the first nude was exchanged. Oh, how many nudes did you send during lockdown? Be honest. Some of us turned into complete whores during lockdown. I was not the only one. You shut up, don't judge me. So we go to Instagram, because Instagram knows that we're horny bastards, and they make a disappearing photo thing for you. She's, she's about to download it right now. Like <laughs> and so then I did that. We're sending nudes back and forth, and she'd send one, just, just beautiful, you know? And then men, we don't have, not, like, I have one move, you know? That's it, just, <laughs> that's all you have as a guy. <laughs> so I sent mine back, and then we we're always using these things as an opportunity to learn German, so I'm just like, was ist das? <laughs> She's like, oh, das? Das ist Brust. I'm like, oh, okay. It sounds aggressive in German. Brust, Brust, Brust. It's like, was ist das? Oh, das? Brustfatze. Oh, hmm. Nipple warts. I know, it's gross. Then she's talking about mine. She's like, oh, sehr gut. Mittelgroß, nicht so groß. Aber gut. Dankeschön. Yeah. Nach oben gekommen der Schwanz. Sehr gut. Danke, danke, danke schön. Ja, gut, gut, gut genug. Das ist gut genug. Uh, yes. Gut genug. Ja, ja, ist gut genug. Kein Problem. She said she had one that had a links. Ja, links gekommen der Schwanz. Und das war nicht so gut. You know, like. Er kann meine Gepung stimulieren hinterher. Das ist gut. I was like, how does he come on your face? I don't know. He went like this. <laughs> So we're going back and forth. We like each other. And this is great, because I needed a connection, you know? I was getting, in, getting out of depression a little bit. And then uh, I realized, like, I wasn't watching porn as much because I was making it. And since then, at that point, my whole goal during lockdown, after it ended, was to make a German porn. Like, that became my life's purpose. Because normally I'm on stage doing stand-up, but I'm not doing that. So I thought, like, I can make, like, a German porn, you know? Like, that would be cool, but, like, no faces, secret, you know? And everyone secretly wants to be a porn star, but they feel like, no, sex with me is precious. I want no one to see this amazing creature in the bedroom. And I was like, yeah, I can make one, but, like, no faces, you know? So the borders opened up, flew back to Germany, and then I went from Berlin down to the small village outside of Stuttgart to meet Laura. And then we're sitting there, and uh, we were going to the movies, and I, my plan started to unravel, because I realized just how German this woman is like super German. Germans love following the rules. And we go into a movie theater and there's two people sitting in our seats. And her being German, she says, we have to sit in our seats. I was like, there's 400 empty seats in this entire theater. We can sit anywhere you want. She's like, no, no, we have to sit in our seat. Those are the rules. <laughs> and she goes over to these people, gets in their face, and they're like, oh, sorry, we didn't know. Yes, those are the rules. Choose, thank you. <laughs> there's weird rules in Germany that I'm getting used to. Like, saying goodbye on an elevator. You have to do that. I had no idea until I got into an elevator, the only person in there, one other person gets in, I don't know who he is, and then he gets off on his floor and he goes, Jules! <laughs> do we have a conversation that I didn't know about? Like, what's going on here? Jules, ciao, Jules! And the way they say Jules, I think you kind of need that in German, because German sounds aggressive if you're speaking it for too long, you know, like, Ich freue mich von meiner Feierabend! Jules! <laughs> It's a palate cleanser, I need that. Juicy, choo -choo. Although two dudes saying that to each other sounds kind of weird. What's up, Adolf? Well, hey, how you doing, Martin? Good, yeah, see you later. Juicy, choo -choo. <laughs> sounds kind of weird, man. And then there's other rules too, like saying hello when you go into saunas. That one I never understood. You're naked, you're sweating, you're about to die, your dick is out, you walk into a sauna. Hello. 
And then everyone else, like a chorus, hello, 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 hello. It's like, do you guys all know each other? Is this, a, is this a team meeting or what is this? Like, shh, there's no talking. You shut up, you sit, you sweat. Kein Schweiß auf Holz! Some strange rules. But I realized something. Germans, they follow the rules, but when they don't, when there's no rules, they go crazy. That's the thing. You follow the rules till there's no rules, then you go freaking mental. Like driving on the Autobahn. You ever see Germans on the Autobahn? They learn, they're following the rules. 50 kilometers an hour, do 50, okay. Ooh, then we get to 80, Arctic, ooh. But pretty soon, no speed limit. Then you get to that sign with the X through it, and then they're just <laughs> They take off. A mom with six kids in the back. Just <laughs> there's no rules. <laughs> And then it gets to 80, and you see the same people that just passed you, and they're like, yeah, rules. <laughs> so what was the whole point of this if we're all on the same, yeah, but it was fun, wasn't it, when there was no rules? Just wait another kilometer, <laughs> there's going to be no more rules. <laughs> they go crazy when there's no rules. So I thought, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask this girl, you know. I was like, hey, look, do you want to shoot a porn, right? We're having a spinach salad at Hans and Gluck. I was like, what do you think about us shooting a porn? She's like, oh, I don't know. I mean, during lockdown, we did what we had to do, but uh, you know, now, I don't know. I was like, what do you mean you don't know? She's like, oh, you know, I'm a legal assistant and I don't want anyone to see my face, you know, that'd be weird. I was like, we could do it without faces. She's like, yeah. I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, you sure, Mr. Zisha? I was like, oh, I'm Zisha. <laughs> She's like, do you have a tripod? I was like, yeah, I got a tripod. I can buy one for Media Markt. She's like, okay, good. Okay, you buy one. And I was like, all right, what kind of porn are we going to make? She's like, oh, I don't know. I was like, I wear some ladle holder. You got to find the bratwurst. She's like, oh, what's a good one? I don't know. Then, or I'm, sp I'm late and you're angry. Oh, we can do that too. I was like, oh, no, you're a bad English student. I got to correct your grammar. And then we start having sex. That's not a very good story. <laughs> it's porn. It doesn't have to be good. What are you talking about? She's like, okay, let's do it. Next Friday, 7 p.m.? Yeah, I'll put it in my schedule. Okay, good. See you there. So I show up early just to, so she can be turned on by my punctuality. And uh, <laughs> I get there. This is just sopping wet. And I, oh. <laughs> Set up the tripod, and we're going to sit on the couch. Like, she's, we're going to do it on the couch so you can't see the faces. And then we start, you know? The sweatpants come off. <laughs> and I realize she's got this tampon string. And she's on her period. Yeah, I know. That sucks. And I was like, was ist das? She's like, oh, das? And whenever a man sees the tampon or she's on her period, it's always a question. You're wondering, like, is it beginning or is it ending? <laughs> she's like, oh, no, it's over. I was like, oh, thank God. All right, let's go. <laughs> and I'm thinking she's going to go to the bathroom to take it out. No, she just stands up. She goes, and then she's real, she's real athletic. So she's like, <laughs> and then right in the garbage can. <laughs> I don't know, so sexy. It's been... Ich bin bereit. And then I go to get the condom because, you know, you gotta save sex. You must verhuten. <laughs> verhuten. Germans have a word for safe sex. That is the funniest shit in the world. <laughs> like, do, like, have you ever had a guy go to put it in? You're like, ah, 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 verhuten. <laughs> oh, alles klar. Kein Problem. <laughs> okay, ich habe verhutet. Ja, genau. Fange an. Okay, it's good. Alles in Ordnung? Ja, gut. Ja, very good. Do you guys, the sexy talk in German has got to be the funniest shit in the world. It's, I don't know. It's good if you're like dominating, you know, like, schneller. <laughs> then it sounds good. But if you're trying to seduce, like, come here, lick my brush, Batson. Und mein Schamlippen. Who came up with these names? It was definitely a man, and he had a daughter, and he wanted his daughter to be 100% unfuckable. That's. <laughs> Vater, what are these, Vater? What are these? Ah, Schamlippen, kein Ficken. Yes, Vater. <laughs> I have shame lips. Yeah, shame lips. It's so bad that you don't even say it. That's the, that's the perfect German response to that. Yeah, but we don't say that. We use English words. It's so bad you have to switch to another language. <laughs> so we're about to start. And I go to get my condom, and I forgot it. I forgot the condom. And then she gives me one of her ex-partners, and she's like, you can take this one. 
and it was gigantic. It was one of the Magnum XL. And I was like, what, you, what are you dating a freaking extinct walrus? Like, look at the size of this freaking thing, you know? It's like, is this a condom or like leggings? What am I supposed to do with it? <laughs> She's like, yours is good gnook. It's good gnook. So I put it on, I'm like, it's sagging. Like, do you have a blow dryer so we can shrink wrap this thing or something? She's like, no, it should be fine, let's do it. So we start, right? And we're filming ourselves. So it's like dramatic, like porn sex, you know, like, oh yeah, oh yeah. This is me, by the way. Oh, oh, so take all this big black dick, yeah. And we're going back and forth, you know? And then she's super flexible, so she takes her legs and she puts them like by her ears. And I got kind of jealous because I'm competitive. So I was like, you're not gonna outdo me in my own video, you know? So I start doing like a one-handed push-up. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> We're going back and forth, like, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, oh, so good, oh, uh, yeah. And then she gets on top and she starts going for it, you know? And I'm just like, say some of those things that I taught you. She's like, right now? I was like, yeah, say some of those things. She's like, oh, your dick feels so good, bro. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> keep going, keep going. She's like, you're going to need a bucket and or a mop for this wet ass pussy. I'm like, yeah. I was like, keep going, keep going. I don't know if she meant to say this or it slipped down. She says, and your life matters. I was like, it does. <laughs> it does matter. Thank you so much. Wow. She's just going for it. Yeah, yeah. And then she's going so fast, I feel the condom fly off. <laughs> like her vagina had a Staubsauger in it. Just <laughs> and, there's a, and men usually know when the condom comes off, but they wonder, does she know? <laughs> and you have to say something, but you do get a grace period. You do get a little bit of time from when it's okay to when you're a criminal. So you got to say something within the allowed time. So it was like, one, two, shit. And <sighs> Chuligongzi, I lost the condom inside. She's like, what? I'm like, I lost the condom inside. She's like, oh no, oh, did you come in? I was like, no, 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 not nicht. She's like, okay, okay, hmm. I'll try to get it. And she hops off. <laughs> and I'm thinking she's gonna go to the bathroom. Nope, she's just like. <laughs> she's like, oh, she can't get it. I was like, do can't get it? She's like, no, I just can't get it. I was like, are you on the pillar? She's like, no, I don't nip the pillar. It's free range, B.O. I was like, oh, jeez. I was like, do you want me to try? I got longer fingers. She's like, have, have you washed your hands? I was like, no, I can go wash them. She's like, hmm, I think we need to get some expert advice. I was like, what are you gonna do, ask Google? She's like, no, this happened to a friend of mine, Saha. I give her a phone call. <laughs> she goes, gets her phone, and she's like, Hello, Sarah? Yes, hi, yes, no, I'm having sex right now. Mm hmm yeah. And I lost the condom inside. This happened to you and Philip? Um, what should I do? What should I do? Yeah? Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, I'll call you back later. Okay, juicy, juice, juice, juice. <laughs> she puts the phone down, and I'm standing there, I'm like, what is she doing? And then she gets into a squat position like this. And then she starts going, <coughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, ich got it! And I realized this whole time the cameras were still rolling. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. I was like, not only did I shoot a porn, I shot an at home workout video. <laughs> So her face was like all up in this thing. So I was like, this we can't, maybe there's a small part where we can use. So I, I go to edit it and we're sitting there both, you know, naked afterwards having a little latte and stuff. And I was like, all right, let's see this beautiful masterpiece. And no matter how good you think you look during sex, you will look like a retarded penguin. And that's exactly how I look. I'm like, you don't look good, so don't be so worried about people seeing it. It's disgusting. Don't worry. No one wants to see your porn. <laughs> and after watching it, uh, I realized I never want to make a porn again. And so I haven't watched porn or made uh, porn for the last three days. So thank you so much for coming to Story Party, ladies and gentlemen.